What's up guys, it's Ice with Top Ice Gaming and I'm here with episode 2 of our Dungeon Defenders Let's Play. Unlike the last episode, this time we are only going to be doing one level. And that level that we're going to be doing is the Magus Quarters, or Magus Quarters, however you want to pronounce that. I personally pronounce it Magus. And I uh, don't really have a whole lot to mention before we just hop into this video today. Um... I reached 50 subscribers. I'm at, I think, 60 at the time of making this video, so that's pretty cool. Um, big thanks to everybody who subscribed to me and everybody who's shared one of my videos, liked a video. Um, anyone who's, you know, told a friend to come check out my videos, all of it really helps. So I definitely appreciate it. And apparently I have a level up available. I have two level ups available. That's weird. It's been so long since I did the let's play it's been like four or five days so i don't really remember where i stopped but apparently we're level 10 and we are starting the magis quarters make sure we don't do insane that would suck all right and we're gonna hop into it okay all right it's kind of strange because i just got off playing my uh one of my higher level tunes, my Huntress, and it's weird how much slower the Squire is. It's just strange, feels different. It's gotta walk very slowly around and gather up all this mana. And so we're starting with 200 mana, that's plenty. So as most of you guys probably saw in the last video, I really, really, really like to put up walls more than uh, harpoons. So you want to put them just about midway down the steps is how I put them. Uh, maybe a little bit closer up to the crystal, but it doesn't really matter. Um, not a huge deal, like the placement isn't super crucial. And then you want to put uh, two harpoons behind them eventually. So you want to put like to the side facing in. And then one on the other side facing in. You'll do that on each of them. So for now, we don't have enough mana, so we're just going to start it. The only problem I have with this level is these two doors way down there. Stuff comes out of those and takes forever to get up here, so sometimes I put a harpoon down there just to take care of those guys, because not very many enemies actually come out of there, but some do, so. And we're going to come down here and get rid of this archer. We're going to collect some mana. Come over here to this side and make sure there's no archers being douchebags. Nope, looks good. Alright, we're going to collect the mana and then put down another harpoon. Of course, placing in combat takes a while, so this might take a good chunk of time. You're going to try to get it as close to the wall as possible, because at this level your range is probably pretty low. I'll come to the middle, the one I haven't gone to yet, and grab the mana from here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, damn, there goes my experience bonus. I didn't mean to attack him. Bummer! Alright, that's okay. Ooh, and we leveled up. So I'm going to put that in one in damage, and one in attack rate, and one in radius. Grab the mana, and start building more harpoons. We might have enough this, this wave to put two harpoons on each, so we might be done building. 
at least the building right here. That's weird, why is it not? There we go. So we'll pop down those guys. Then we'll run, we'll go over this side because I think there's mana sitting on the ground over here. Yeah, there is. And is there one more mana? Yeah, there's some. All right, we got enough for our last two harpoons that we're going to put up by these. And that is the main part that's going to protect the crystal here. And that is going to take up, I think, 45 DU once we're done. So that's exactly half of your DU. So obviously there's a lot of room to beef this up and make it stronger. There we go. I'm just going to grab these chests before I start it. Because I don't want to be in the way of monsters. There's a sword that's better than mine, supposedly. Nah. One more block percentage, but seven less damage, and it's better. I'm, no thanks. Alright, we're just going to grab this man over here. Okay. Hmm. I thought that was going to sell for more. Okay, we'll just G it up. I'm basically going to be replacing these walls with uh, slice and dice blockades. They're a little bit more squishy, but they do a lot more damage. And with these harpoons and us being tower build squires, that's going to be pretty good. It's going to be worth it. And then after this we'll fortify for uh, waverns, and we will also fortify down the below so we don't have to wait so long for guys to come up those stairs. And then that's pretty much it. We'll be done. We'll just kind of sit back and watch the guys die. Shouldn't have any problems with this level. It's not even a boss level. The ogre that comes out might give us a little bit of trouble, but we should get him. Gathering up mana. Alright, we'll go ahead and put a slice and dice. Gah! We're not high enough hero level. Hmm, so should we level up? Nah, I'm going to just put bouncers then. Because I do want something to keep them away from those harpoons. But if we can't do slice and dice, bouncers much better than the wall. So we'll just swap those out. <laughs> Not really a big deal, but still, it will help. That's going to give us more attack speed. That's good for our harpoons. A very small window to put this. There we go. And... Now the wyverns are coming, but we've got like plenty of mana, so we don't even need to worry about it. We're going to put Harpoon here, facing that door. And it'll take out, should be easily able to take out all the guys that come out of there. And then we got to come over here and put down a bouncer. there and then we're going to set up our defenses right here for the wyverns which is going to be just two harpoons on each side oh we're out of mana damn I hate not being able to just pick it all up and then go it's been a while since I did this actual level I only shit I think I only did it on a low level two and once. Yeah, I think I only did this once on a low level two, but uh, it's not like you need to do it very often. I've done it a couple of times on survival. 
on insane. But that's a completely different story. I just pick up tons of mana and then go build all my stuff and be done with it. Okie dokie, that's pretty much the full build. Uh, for the most part. Not how I want it to be, but my hero's not high enough level to do slice and dice blockades. Oh yeah, and we're going to put the harpoon same on this side. Oh my god, and we don't have enough mana again. God damn it. There might not be enough mana left on the map. Hmm. There's one chest. I'm going to just G it up and I'll do it during combat if I have enough mana. Alright, we got enough mana, so we're just going to go pop that thing down. Try not to get owned in the process. Okay, there we go. Now that is pretty much the complete build. If you wanted to, you could add like an ensnare aura or two, but really, if you did the slice and dices, I think that puts you at 90 out of 90 defense units. So, uh... Don't really know what you would do. Maybe gas traps. You could probably put down some gas traps and they would work. Yeah, they would work out okay, I guess. But it's not necessary at all, so. And if you have a summoner course you can pop down some summoner stuff. I do, but he's a higher level, so it's just kind of would be cheating. And then wave five, we're just going to keep g up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put another harpoon here. You probably don't really need to, but I'm going to do it just because I know the ogre is going to be coming out of that door, and I uh, just want to be sh like secure as possible. And it puts me at 90 out of 90, so I get a small uh, experience bonus. So we're just going to set that up, make sure that's all good. Alright, All right. I guess since we're just sitting here, I'll talk to you guys about the uh, my YouTube channel itself. I'm going to do a pretty cool giveaway at um, 150 subscribers, so if you guys are interested in, in getting some free shit, then spread the word, share these videos on your Facebook or whatever, let people know, and once I get to 150 subscribers, I'll be doing the giveaway. Um... There won't be any requirements for the giveaway other than to subscribe to my channel and comment on a video. And then they'll be randomly selected from the uh, comments. So, um, yep. Pretty much free shit for getting 150 subscribers. So, you guys help me and uh, I'll do a giveaway. Um, hmm, I don't know. I don't think I have a lot of other news type stuff to talk about, really. Um, yep, got nothing other than this Dungeon Defenders Let's Play and the giveaway that might be coming pretty soon. I don't really have any more news going on. Uh, the Let's Play series for Dungeon Defenders is going pretty well. I've had quite a few people uh, add me on Steam to play some Dungeon Defenders. I've only played with like two people that have actually added me because they saw my YouTube video, but... I'll play with more. I'll try to play with everybody that adds me eventually. Um, yeah. So far, so good. It's been a pretty good run on as far as the uh, YouTube videos are going so far. And I really appreciate the support you guys are th throwing at me. Right, so as you can see, like this is not a fast level. Like These waves take too long. I, I do get quite annoyed. Well, more bored than annoyed, but it's bothersome. But hey, what are you going to do? You got to do this level. Well, I guess technically we don't have to because I could just skip it, but if you're playing the game, you got to do this level eventually, so. So here we are. 
Oh, that guy. Alright, alright, we're on the final wave now. Uh, nothing really to worry about except the ogre. Just be watching the harpoon sh and bouncer probably will just not like knock him out pretty easily. If you've been putting your points in towers, so you don't really need to worry about it. Um, if you're me, you're fucking, uh, like, 12 experience points away from a level up. That blows. Not a big deal, though. Alright, we're just going to activate it. G it up. And just be watchy. Like, be wary of the ogre, just in case he starts breaking your stuff. Shouldn't be an issue, though, so we're just going to stand up here and watch. I'm actually going to cut the video here, and I will come back to you guys when the ogre pops up. Alright guys, I'm back, and as you can see, the ogre just popped up. He's over there. He's got 25,000 health. I'm still not to... Ooh. One of my harpoons was destroyed. Where? I don't see any of them destroyed. Oh, it must have been one of the ones down there. Must have been getting shot by an archer. Alright, we're just going to watch him die so that you guys can see that this can handle it. He's already down to 5k. And... There he goes. He's down. And we got some guys over there on that side that we're just going to wait for. And that'll do it. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's the conclusion to Let's Play Episode 2 of Dungeon Defenders, playing on our Tower Squire. Um, be sure to check out some of the other videos I've got up on my channel and like I said I'm going to do the giveaway when I get to the 150 subscribers so um, share the video get some more views for me get some subscribers and then I'll pay you guys back with the giveaway um, yep that's about all I got for you guys today thank you for tuning in and watching this episode definitely appreciate it uh, as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and let me know what kind of content you guys want to see in the future, and I will do my best to get that content out to you. Thank you so much for watching, and take care, guys. Wow.